All right, so now we've checked the uh, front side of this patient or the anterior side. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and log roll the patient. Uh, so I'm gonna have my partner help me out over here. Uh, so my hand's gonna be right here on the patient's shoulder as well as below the uh, pelvis and our arms are gonna intersect as you see here. So on the head man's count, we're gonna go ahead and roll the patient towards us. One, two, three. Now, uh, what I want to do now is I wanna check out the patient's backside. Uh, so I don't wanna let go of my right arm here, uh, which is holding the patient's shoulder. I wanna instead uh, let this arm go because my partner already has uh, this region pretty much secure. So on the back, I'm gonna be looking for decap P2S, feeling for tick. I wanna feel down along the patient's spine, feeling for any step offs. Uh, and I'm also gonna be checking uh, for any kind of rectal bleeding, incontinence, uh, or anything out of the normal there. Now, the next step is we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and roll the patient onto the backboard. So on the head man's count, we're gonna go ahead and roll the patient onto the backboard. One, two, three. All right, so we're also gonna go ahead and Z-slide the patient. I'm gonna have my patient, or my partner that was on backboard, go ahead and hold the backboard so it doesn't slide out of place. I have my partner down here, hold here at the, the waist. Mm -hmm. Make sure our hands are parallel there. Right here, sure. And also right there. We're gonna go ahead and slide the patient down and over toward you, Ryan, on three. And head man's count. One, two, three. And up on three. One, two, three. Excellent. Now the next and final spot is we're gonna go ahead and strap and secure the patient uh, as you saw in our uh, patient mobilization uh, for a supine patient. Uh, we're gonna strap her in and we're also gonna go ahead and get a vital, uh, set of vital signs and we're gonna reassess this patient five minutes because she's a critical patient. How does that?